Greetings and salutations, my fellow math enthusiasts and students of all things mathematical. My name is Sean Spartan, and this video continues my series on figurate numbers, which are numbers that relate to certain geometric shapes in two or higher dimensions. In this video, I will introduce the pentagonal numbers and their properties. Let's begin. The nth pentagonal number, which I will write as Pn, is the number of unit objects or dots that can be arranged in a regular pentagon. Here are the first few pentagonal numbers. As with the triangular numbers of my previous video, we have a formula for computing the nth pentagonal number. Pn is equal to 3n squared minus n over 2. You can check yourself on these examples that this is true. Here is a list of the first few pentagonal numbers. We also have a test for any given integer n to check if n is a pentagonal number. If the square root of 24 times n plus 1, plus 1 divided by 2 is an integer, then n is a pentagonal number. So let's try our test on some positive integers. For n equals 5, we plug in 5 times 24, add 1, take the square root, add 1 and divide by 6, and we get 2, which is an integer. Therefore, 5 is a pentagonal number. For n equals 12, we plug it in, do the calculation, and we get 3, which is also an integer. Therefore, 12 is also a pentagonal number. Now let's try 15. If I plug in 15, I perform the calculation, I get 3 and 1 third, which is not an integer. Therefore, 15 is not a pentagonal number. Now even though 15 is not a pentagonal number, it is, however, a generalized pentagonal number. Generalized pentagonal numbers are related to pentagonal numbers in the following way. To get the pentagonal numbers, we use the formula we've already showed, which is 3n squared minus n over 2, and plug in n for 1, 2, 3, etc. However, if instead we plugged in n equals 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, and we continued that pattern, then we'll get the generalized pentagonal numbers. Below is a list of the first few generalized pentagonal numbers. As with the pentagonal numbers, we do have a test for the generalized pentagonal numbers that is much easier to calculate. Given any integer n, n is a generalized pentagonal number, if and only if 24 times n plus 1 is a perfect square. We will use our previous example, 15. We already showed that 15 is not a pentagonal number because it failed our original test. However, 15 times 24 plus 1 is 361, which is equal to 19 squared, so it is a perfect square. Therefore, 15 is a generalized pentagonal number. Aside from being an interesting topic of study, these numbers do come up in different areas of mathematics, usually related to number theory and partitions. In fact, generalized pentagonal numbers are important to Euler's theory of partitions and come up in his pentagonal number theorem. What you see here is an identity that Euler proved in 1783, which shows that the infinite product of 1 minus increasing powers of x is equal to a special type of alternating sum of increasing powers of x where the exponents are in fact the generalized pentagonal numbers. Now I'd like to talk about the relationship between pentagonal and square numbers. In my previous video, we showed there are infinitely many triangular numbers that are also square and how to find them. So it begs the question, are there pentagonal numbers that are also square? In other words, are there positive integers n and m, such that pn equals sm, where pn is the nth pentagonal number and sm is the nth square number? To find these numbers, we will use our given formulas for pentagonal and square numbers. The nth pentagonal number is 3n squared minus n divided by 2, and the nth square number is just m squared, or m to the power of 2. We're going to place them equal to one another, Use a little algebra called completing the square, and then simplify. What we are left with is 6n minus 1 squared minus 24m squared equals 1. To make things a little easier, I'm going to substitute 6n minus 1 for x and 2m for y. 
This gives us a form of a famous Diophantine equation called the Pell equation. So we have x squared minus 6y squared equals 1, which we can solve for x and y and then convert them in terms of n and m. If we calculate a list of solutions and ignore any non-integer solutions, we get nm equals 1, 1, 81, 99, 79, 21, 97, 0, 1, and so on. To get our list of square pentagonal numbers, I can just square the second index m. So I get 1 squared is 1, 99 squared is 9801, 7901 squared is 94,109,401, and so on. This is our list of square pentagonal numbers. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a comment.